Hello everybody, welcome to the quarter-final between Binkits Norse and Aurelensis's High Elves. Joining me in the booth is Flamir. Hello! Hello everybody, and we start with a riot, just to make things a little harder for the Norse, maybe? Maybe, yeah. Yeah, less, uh, less bashing for them. Um, oh, and look, straight away the guy, that could have been a dodger, and he gets knocked down and he'll be broken. Yep. Maybe it's a mistake from Aurelensis. Um, well, I mean, it uh, has blocked that piece anyway, so... Yeah, true. But yeah, you need to put the, the player that you're there just in case in future terms. Yeah, when, once you're putting two blodgers on the LOS, you might as well field that dodger and then make the whole LOS dodge. Um, yeah, so it's interesting, isn't it? So looking at the two teams, Aurelius has a wizard um, and a babe. He's got only one guard, which is a little guard light. He's got loads of bludge and rog, but only one guard, uh, only one mighty blow, no stats. So it's it can do things. It's it's got some rog, but it's 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 bare bones. I think a lot is going to depend on the wizard. Um, Binkit, on the other hand, has got a tackle pommer and a tackle mighty and some strength and some guard and some dirty players 14 players total um interesting player to leave on the bench here probably should have fielded a tackle a tackle guy i guess he wanted to save the kick to make sure he's got a kick but it seems lame and uh dirty player like he's got he's got a rookie here that could have been an extra tackle i don't know how you don't have an extra tackle on the field against a team with 10 blocks <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, like okay, kick is nice, but uh, I mean, uh, Orleans is if he knows what he's gonna do, he's gonna target the tacklers. Yeah, yeah, you've only and got two players. There is already one more less exposed. He has one guard, so yeah, it's two dies. Yeah. I sort of did, sort of did. Yeah, maybe, maybe, uh, maybe he just no, he didn't just let him for for this. But yeah, that is a bit, that is a bit of a banger player. But he's only got the one blitzer, hasn't he? That's the problem. Like if he had two, um, he hasn't got that much frenzy on this team. Four frenzy no. players. Four, four frenzy players. Yeah, I don't know why he went tackle first runner. It's madness. So yeah, um, but yeah, what well, I don't know how you don't feel this guy. That is, that is objectively terrible against this many dodge. You have to feel it. He's going really risky here, isn't he? No cover at all for the ball pickup. Ooh. If he won in 36 as this, it's basically over. <laughs> oh, yes, because uh, most of the runners, uh, the catches can uh, reach there. Okay, he doesn't see there are six. <laughs> I wouldn't say that ball is really safe there. No, maybe he's trying to space cadet him here and hope that he uh, you know, takes a risk on after the ball. I mean, this is a 2D on the ball if he wants it. Pretty, very easily. Very easy 2D on the ball if he wants it. Yes, because all the tacklers are stuck, you know, behind other players or they are not covering the side, so you can more or less dodge mm -hmm. as much as you want. Well, this catcher, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight GFI, right? Then you've got the guard in, and then this, this catcher can go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, double GFI. And okay, it's not, it's not that good. But if he wanted to, he could go for it, couldn't he? And he's not going to, but he, like, you know, that, that I think is too it, You know, cutting corners, maybe running a three plus dodges or something like that, but he, what he can do is put a lot of pressure on the ball. Yeah, that, If that's, he wants. Yeah, that's, he can just be, stay there menacingly. Yeah. That is being spiscated, yeah. Like, I think it wasn't right to go for that, but it was an option to go for that. But I mean, I didn't like going for it. But the point is, it's a, it's needlessly lax, though, right? Um, it's needlessly lax. That's, I think, from the uh, from Binkit. Like, while you're probably not going to go for those dice rolls, if you do, and if it works, then it's probably game over. <laughs> like, that's the thing, isn't it? Lacking tackle yeah, like a bit, isn't he? Orleans is here. He's going to have to rely on the wrestlers, maybe, to get the ball down. But he's got plenty of wrestles, so that's okay. Wrestle. He has two tackles. Yeah. 
R wrestle is about as good as tackle, isn't it? It's, about, it's basically yep, the same. More or less, yes. It uh, makes one roll, uh, one or the other side go in your favour. Mm. Yeah, exactly. It's only needlessly lax when you get sacked and scored on. Yeah, exactly, right? So, like, sometimes... I just don't... Like, yeah, it's interesting. It's interesting. Yeah, yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, against that guy, wrestle probably better. Oh yeah, I say the stem. Yeah, where's it gonna be the option there? So obviously, yeah, or he's just uh, running away, limiting the hits. And uh, Pinkett is just gonna try and maximise the hits. Oh, going for the chain uh, frenzy here, I like that. Yeah. No foul though, is there? There's no foul because he's assisted with a dirty player. And this guy, for some reason, is a rookie and not either a dirty player or a tackler. <laughs> oh, going for the stand firm. So he oh, there you go. This, uh, this guy uh, knows uh, the deal. <laughs> No pile on, unbelievable. Unbelievable. I don't believe it. Absolute outrage because he wanted to get that that uh he wanted to get that. So why didn't he just blitz from there then? If you're going to move to there afterwards, blitz from there and pile on there, isn't it? That's the uh, like he sh he, sh he could have piled on here, couldn't he? He yep. still pushed into the uh, Ulf. I mean, in fact, he moved his gun for no reason, in fact, didn't he, right? He could have just hit from here. Yes, yes, that was a... Uh, no, it was necessary for the... Um, to make the chain, to get the chain. But he wasn't chaining because he pushed into the uh, Ulf, didn't he, so... Yeah, but because he, there wasn't the dirty player was there, he should have uh, pushed him to where he's the dirty player. No, no, because he could have just hit from here, this is what I'm saying. He's moved to there afterwards. Oh, yeah. Why didn't he just hit from here? And he could have still put... Oh, he's dead! Ah! Oh, <laughs> Dutch into the head. Classic of the Catalis, this is one. <laughs> yeah. Get wrecked, Norse. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Norse down a player, not looking good for them in this matchup. And now he can uh, put the uh, pressure on the ball. Maybe he's thinking about the vault now. I think his players are too far away. Yeah, I think his players are too far, but... I think he'll, he'll probably blitz one of these linemen behind the, at the back of the cage, so you can, you know, enter around the cage mm. and dodge away these people here. You know, because there's a lot of investment here of players, the Norse players, Basing elves, which all of them have a two plus to dodge with a reroll. Yeah. You could just try to bang people out, couldn't you? <laughs> oh, yeah, so can you? Yeah, you can also try hitting people in the face. <laughs> It's tricky though. If you if you had a strength up, then the strength up blitzes the yet, yeah, yeah, and then everything works out after that. But can't get too D on the yeti. You could hit him and then and then could hit him and then just dodge away with a guard, I guess. Yeah, I think there's no reason to push this early. Like obviously the player up tempts you to push a bit early, doesn't it? There you go. Glorious Mighty Blow Blitz. Glorious uh, punch to the face. And that's another uh, Norse gun. Yeah, he more or less can, you know, keep things safe. Maybe put a couple players, you know, behind in the back of the Norse, behind the Norse. 
Las dos son para absurda. Va todo de andar, Dodge Away. Yeah, I can just keep it, keep everyone in front. Make it hard for them to break through. You two, the two men down now, limit the hits. Don't get surfed. Eventually they'll get desperate and they'll, uh, they'll leave the ball a bit open. And then comes the bolt and GG. Two men up is an absolute dream at this point. You could have easily been four men down. As I would have been had it been my high elves. Right, and now this dodge with other blitzer to cover more or less the. Uh... Alright. Mm. I put a little more protection in the mighty blow tackle, but. Yeah. Yeah, I would have just had him more central. I think he's maybe unnecessary over there. I mean, it does shut down the sideways movement, I guess, but yeah, I think keeping him more central might have been better. Oh, piling on! Nothing. Oh, <laughs> finally piles for nothing. And that'd be a foul Ooh. here, mightn't it? I'm surprised you blitzed this one. I would have thought blitz this guy, and then you can bring down, you know, the cage here and get this big foul in. Thing the Binkit is not used to not removing players every time. Yeah. Oh, I see. Oh, another one he hit. Oh, okay. Well, there you go, banger prime, going for that. Going for that removal, and he's a blitzer. Ooh, but Brig, yeah, blitzing this guy would have been better for the ball, wouldn't it? Like, because he is going to make this foul, and he is going to bring the ball into this area, so. I mean, having 14 players, even if it's just the. There's no cow that's any that bad, yeah. You need to start the. Thinking about making uh, fouls here. Yeah, if this is a gym foul though. Bad times. Oh, this, oh, this doesn't look good. I have a bad feeling about this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, he's not sent off. Yeah, this guy makes the bolt look a bit rubbish. And could fireball here. Wouldn't be terrible. And these three, but you're, it's asking a lot. Yeah, he's asking a lot. So I think uh, he's yeah, he's no need, no need to either right now. Could put the guard in here and then blitz this off. Yeah, I thought it was going to be a gym foul. No, I mean, I don't think it's right to fireball or, or wizard or anything, but you've got to look at it, haven't you? The, fir the first thing every turn as the high elves now is like, how good is the wizard? Because you're in such a strong position here that you could turn them over and score. No removals in four turns is unbelievable. Oh, I'm for the uh, bad luck there. What the fuck was he doing there? He, this is just getting served, unless he puts like. That didn't <laughs> look good. This is rowdy. This is rowdy from Oriolensis. Well, he has the blotch stepper uh, next to the Ulvar, so at least he has a chance there, but this wrestler here is getting served. Yeah, he needs to put two players here. Like the Garder and the and the Mighty Blow need to go here and hope that that's enough. I was thinking of gridding the, the roll because you take down the this one, you can blitz 
the one behind it, and you are just very close to the ball, but you can't, can't see really the point either. You can't blitz him because you, you stand firm, so you couldn't. Oh, yeah, so yeah, 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 yeah. That was the problem. Not a great turn from Ori here. I prefer putting the guard in there and then blitzing this guy with a mighty blow. Because then you'd have three, four, five as well, so then you wouldn't need to put this guy in behind. So like that. Oh, he's fouling him. Oh, of course he's fouling him. Okay, and he catches oh, him. Well, there you go. Now massive. it looks brilliant. <laughs> now massive. it's brilliant Apple, play. Apple works, Apple works. <laughs> Fantastic play. Ori is a genius. There yeah, you go. Now we went to foul, you know, with uh, only one... Uh... <laughs> And now he could greet this because now it's with Mighty Blow. Yeah, there is nothing left to do also in the town, so. Oh. There's nothing to do. No, oh, well. Looking bad times for. Uh, bad times for Binkit now. I mean, this is a dicing, isn't it, really? Three players out. None removed it. Can't knock anybody over. He's up shit creek. He can cage at the other side, but it doesn't matter because the elf can reach that side easier than him. Yeah. Now it's just getting out of the half at nil nil for Binkit, I think. I think. Yeah, Binkit. the best case scenario. And there are a lot of elves with a lot of dodge, very close, you know, to against an eight-player team. Yeah, yeah I, th I think he just genuinely has to think, how do I escape N at nil-nil? <laughs> Which is a terrible thing to think on your turn five, isn't it? But Yeah, but... Uh... Not a noise in here. Imagine playing against Norse and not getting Norsed. It's an absolute miracle. <laughs> Serve himself to a certain I actually have uh, J5. Um, <laughs> I did in Blood Bowl 1, I discovered a bug where if you chained a sidestepper, he didn't have sidestep. And, uh, and I, I, I chained somebody into my sidestepper, uh, like, and then my sidestepper was going to then sidestep, and then I was going to surf the guy, but um, instead my sidestepper got surfed. And I discovered that in, a, in one of my early games of Blood Bowl 1. I discovered a bug that had been in the game since the start that nobody else had discovered. Because probably no one else who played Blood Bowl 1 knew how to chain. <laughs> More plus dodge fails. I don't know why he was... Uh, yeah, he wasn't getting that. served, was he? No, no chance to get the surf or anything. He was holding at least a couple elves there. Yeah, whereas now is is <laughs> Maybe he did it so that Ori might, uh, might try to surf the Blitzer. Maybe that was his idea, you know? Because like now, yeah. this now this berserker is easily surfable, so maybe it was to do that and hope that Ori spends some players surfing this guy. Like not many, but you know, three but players, now, four players. Easy PC blitz the Garfen. You can even hit the jetty, pick the ball, run away. Yeah, yeah. I'm maybe it's preferred. I don't know. It's hard because the, the, this guy is in a good spot. I'm not sure I like the wizard too much there. But I guess you, you've got to get out of the way. The armor break makes it brilliant anyway. Oh, well, there you 
go perfect. <laughs> he can still surf. The, the, the sickest thing about this is... Okay, well he's moving this guy. He can just literally... He can still surf this guy. <laughs> The runner, yes, can I still serve the runner? Yes, no problem. He can he can pick it up, hand it off back to over here, and then surf, and then go up and score at his leisure, if you're American. But that's pretty that's pretty easy. Another player in there, then block him to there, then block him there, and then surf him. Yeah. I think it's happening. Oh, he got a pal. Boo! No. Oh, he did it. He did it, he did it like that anyway. No, he wasn't going for the save. Boo! I preferred going for this guy. Um, purely because it's less bad if he fails. Because he could have gone one, two, and then he could have gone three, four, five, and then just handed it off to him if he. Uh, if he'd used the reel on the pickup, otherwise he could have passed it the other one. I could have get it in anyway, because he wants to level him. Forgot to read the sheet that says all this. So. Well, there you go. The wizard was key. Banging out loads of Norse instead of getting out bashed to death. Um, so, yeah, this is looking pretty easy winner for Orionensis. As everybody but me predicted. <laughs> But I'm happy I was wrong. I think now is the perfect time for an early GG, yeah. Yeah, yeah, this is Tana 6, the Norse are uh, in a horrible place. Or they managed to roll, you know, massive amount of paws and armor wrecks in the next uh, few turns. They're not looking good. Yep. If I was the Norse, I'd say GG because it was. If I was, uh, if I was the High Elves, I'd say GG. At least you tried. <laughs> you did better than Dimmy G. Well done. <laughs> oh, thanks, Dimmy. Yeah. Better luck next time, mate. I'm glad your shitty Norse are out. It's fucking over. It's fucking over. Wow, Ori Lens is into the semis. Glorious. Really regretting, uh, <laughs> really regretting uh, deleting my team now after seeing this glorious high elf run, but, you know, I will. Uh, who knows who will be for you? Maybe you'll be out on the first round and only that and you'll be oh, yeah. to play. I'm sure I would have been, but I'm just jealous of being able to crush people with high elves. It's brilliant, isn't it? They're so good. I'm not saying I would have played as well, or uh, or had the dice that Oriolensis has got. It just, just makes me think, wow, high elves are nice when they work, aren't they? He steal my dices. <laughs> yeah, I, I would have been. I would have lost in the first round to Singolo. I think that was the hardest match that Orleans has had. Was the first round versus Singolo. That was you know, a, that was a rough match. Yeah. And eight times out of nine, he probably still loses that match, right? Because there was the break tackle. There was the eight out of nine break tackle. And if that works, he, he would have surfed the ball and uh, he may well have won. Some goal also. It was, it was not a... Uh, there was a certain amount of luck in that one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly, Tony. I'm definitely not saying that I would have done as well as Orlenses if I had been in, but it's just, it's just nice to see high elves, isn't it? I maybe sounded too, too bitter and twisted there. That was not my intention. <laughs> Oh, 
it's nice to see high elves doing well. Yeah, I love it. Me, which just makes it wish it was makes me wish it was mine. <laughs> Cuz I do like the high elves. Ah! <laughs> I might do high elves next season. Screw it. High elves every season. I might do pro elves as well, right? Because high elves won't be in um, Blood Bowl 3 at launch, which, let's be honest, probably going to have to play, even though it'll be shit. Um, so it could go. The, but now the pro elves this season, the Renic has a team like 24 1 0 or something like that. Absolutely. Wow. Absolutely mental. <laughs> He has a natural one turner, you know, but still is like 24 1 0. Disgusting. With pro elves. That is true. That is true, Tom Schneezy. Yeah, pro elves armor 7. Like, I, it, it's interesting though, right? Because their 6 positionals are better. And their 5 linemen are worse. But I just don't think it's worth. How much worse the linemen are for how much better the positionals are. Because I still think, like, high elf linos are pretty good. Like, it's not as if they're shit, is it? You know, it's not as if they're absolutely useless players. No, oh, well, just, just a bad one. Up this, yes. Wow. Oh, yeah, it's just bad. Yeah, I guess yeah, you could say that was a mistake by Ori to... I don't know if he double wand or anything. I've paid no attention to the game for the last couple of turns since it was over. <laughs> but maybe he should have tried to protect him more somehow. I didn't Cypress chill. No, I uh, deleted my team. <laughs> I deleted my team. Yeah, yeah. I was like, fuck this, I'm done. Delete. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, I definitely could have done, but just didn't. And I had a really nice team. Like, I could have had a really nice team as well, but just didn't. I mean, it's a, I like the Apple because in the second half, Ori Lensis is going to Daka. Yeah. And that is, you know, not many hits on his players. And I, just I in case you need a guard you to, you know, to break through. I think I would have taken it, honestly, because I would think, fuck, this guy is not awesome. <laughs> I'm going to be 1 0 up. If I score at any point, I've won. Like, it is tough when it's your only guard. But, um, yeah, I think I would have probably. I think I would have probably uh, eaten that and been greedy. But then, I'm not saying it's right. <laughs> it's probably right to Apple it. I mean, it's definitely right to Apple it for winning. Winning the game. Or winning the it? game, yes. Or winning the game, yes. It's unquestionably the right decision because he's Rog, guard, catcher. Like, that's an incredible player. You have to up it. But. <laughs> In a Charlie's uh, point of view, maybe you could, you know, afford to lose that player. Making the second half uh, Daka a little more risky when you try to break through because you don't have guard. Yeah. But yeah, the Daka, the Daka is a very good point. He's absolutely going to Daka. I would be really surprised if he doesn't Daka. I mean, it's like, uh, it's absolutely the right play to make. You are one uh, nil up. You have your whole team. There is no need, you know, to push things against this uh, North team. Yeah. You will find an opening with the guard. Having the guard is guaranteed you're going to find an opening. Yeah, chance can only be started by mods. Um, I don't know if I can start them as well, actually. Surely I could start them. But I don't know how to, so... Ask Tony to start one. Is the, is the question, is the answer. Anyway, this is all. I'm gonna grab something to drink. I'll be back in a minute. Okie dokie. Here's a question for all you lovely fellas here. Should I stream some uh, Pokemon Unite? I've played it a little bit. I've won every game. 
<laughs> wow, Cyprus chill. Oh, look at this, Aurelensis. This is why he's on his way to the semi finals. Look at them lovely orc titties. Oh, baby. <laughs> Yeah, maybe J5. Would you be interested in that? At the moment, I'm playing it when I poop. Because the games the games take 10 minutes, so it's it's quite nice. You go in, have a game of, uh, of Pokemon Unite, have a poop. Done. Done. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's better than half an hour for other mobas, isn't it? Ten minutes is a good amount. I mean, I've finished pooping by the time it's over, but I've, you've got to finish the game, haven't you? I'm just using Pikachu, but I've got Venusaur, Ninetales, Slowbro, Zeroara as well. There you go. Hello, Fime here. Well, now second half. This doesn't look for the look good for the Norse. They need a miracle, miracle in Norse Street. Everyone has these fucking battle passes nowadays, don't they? Wow, fucking on me. You just wait until you're about to shit yourself and then run to the toilet. <laughs> I do love the daffodils. The, the great thing is that, that Binkit has to defend against the score still, doesn't he? Which makes your daffodil that much more effective. Running away. Getting the mighty blow hit on the DP, wonderful hit as he runs away. Should have not had the dirty player on the LOS. You could have swapped him with him. P.I. Ooh, this could be interesting. Oof. Oh, God. Oh, God. Now putting this guy in the LOS to get the Blitz is looking a very bad idea. <laughs> oh, he's going to get foul, destroyed, annihilated. Oh, no shit. Do you commit to the Dakar or do you try and save him? A little bit. Protect him at least a little bit, right? He could, uh, he could blitz him with a guard still and then, like, protect him. And maybe he's going to go for a half dacker, a yakker. Looks like he is, but this is... I mean, you can't just leave him to get fouled, especially after you using your, your apple. Yeah, blitz the dirty player. A <laughs> half dacker's a full die -off. Oh no no no! You gotta blitz him! You gotta you gotta blitz him! No, he's just letting him. He's leaving him to the wolves. Oh no! And so the Norse guy for some reason left a dirty player uh, out. Yeah, yeah, he's done some bad mistakes. 
No Oriel Answers, this guy is guaranteed dead now. Full abandonment. Also, he can knock this guy down as well. Like, I don't like it because he's going to foul one out and probably foul the other one out later. You could have blitzed him and then like kept a guy here and kept a few guys here, you know, and still had the opportunity to go back the next turn. I don't know. I mean, obviously this stops the blitz still, which is good. But this is going to be a horrible foul. This is going to be a horrible foul. Yeah, I think it should have been. He should have done the yakka. I think you really have to do a yakka, like as stupid as it sounds, because just leaving this guy to get fouled out, I don't like it. Or like, or at least like threaten a score if he does foul it. You know, like maybe he's changed tack in that regard and like threaten a quick score if he takes the foul. But I don't really like this. It should still probably work and be alright, you might just get killed. Might just be a double one in the send off. Yeah, the yakker is where you don't run away and just give up loads of blocks and get half your team removed, but then still have the ball back here. <laughs> <laughs> you just end up exactly, yeah. Doing uh, half the team, you know, sacrifice half the team for no reason. <laughs> so you have the other half of the team uh, motivated, you know, to survive. <laughs> yeah, that's basically it. Motivation for the survivors. <laughs> Is he going to cheer fighter blitz here? Gets away with it. Four assists, so double two still breaks AV, I quite like that. Oh, you idiot. You fucking idiot. I mean, not what I would have done, but who can say if it was right? I mean, does he have to be in that square? There is absolutely no need for that. <laughs> and he had. Hey, he got sent off! <laughs> Incredible! Oh, again, genius, again, again the master play from. Uh... Orelensis, he saw the future for the, for the Blood Bowl. In fact, the GFI is worse here because now, blitzing this guy, you can move your whole team up here and, uh, and you know, get past him. Whereas if he was here, it was harder to get past him. I, I quite like blitzing through him and just getting up there. It's going to be hard for him to get... You know, there'll be there's three players on the wrong side of the ball then. Ah, this guy's maybe a bit too wide. But, um... Yeah, I really don't like that. Geofy is even worse. Not not only did it waste a reroll. Like, he's only got two! He's only fucking got two! And he used a reroll on the po absolutely pointless Geofy. That's terrible. That's genuinely fucking terrible, isn't it? Wrestle Blitz love to see it. He's a 71 percenter, but that was a bad move, wasn't it? I mean, maybe he just thought that it was, was six that, that, that the fire is a bad move. I mean, yeah. how can you justify that? Because it helps to protect a little your uh, mighty blow tackle. Yeah, yeah, maybe that was it. I think it was just a mistake. He probably just thought it was six squares and just did an accidental one. Yeah, my yeah maybe, maybe it maybe was that. Maybe it was that. It's the only explanation I'll accept. <laughs> if he did that on purpose, I think it was absolutely terrible. Someone said it was somebody's alt, uh, really. Would not have broken AV on the foul. Well, even better than he wouldn't have got sent off, would he? No, he would have done. Look, he'd have rolled a 1 and a 5. And broken AV, then rolled a 2 and a 1. Oh no, he'd have rolled a 1 and a 2 and not broken AV. Oh uh, yeah, but he wouldn't have got sent off either. So, All in all, it would have been a win-win. I'm going to hand off to the line up. Oh, he's in, he's in the stink. It's a 3+. plus. Oh, the stupid presence doing nothing. That was a bit of a fuck up by Ori.
bit of a fuck up by all of that. But get away with it, so it's okay. Nails down the Yeti. Which I think is a good idea, you don't want the Yeti molesting your uh, cage, do you? I like the Yeti, you know, to do his own stuff. I mean, the most he's gonna do is two dice on your plate with Frenzy. He can do it with uh, half of the Norse in the pitch. <laughs> but if you, you know, force the Yeti to bleach or whatever, then that's why he put the second player to give them BCGs, because if not, he could uh, free the guard and. Well, he's piled the catcher. Got a pile on. I am not very sure about that pile on. It was uh, getting tackled in the ball. No, I think he had to. Basing the ball isn't doing anything, even with tackle. Yeah. As removing people is good. <laughs> like no one ever rolls ones. Like you know, if your strategy is to hope your opponent rolls a one, that's that's not. It's not good. It's no way. It it's just really nothing to hope for. I I don't think it's worth it. Yeah, it was just a fuck up. Yeah. And also, now he can't even, like, he could one in nine the hand off away as well if he wants to give it to a more mobile player. It seemed quite good going for this area, but uh, Binkit has responded very nicely, hasn't he? Yeah. Push him here, won't he? No! Oh, I don't like that fancy way. No, I like getting him in on on two, but guys, like if you've got if you get your if you have your Yeti here, he's occupying two players and you've you've got like a, a line there and you're really hemming him in. Now he's got a bit of wiggle room, hasn't he? Yeah. I, I did not like that. Do I not like that? <laughs> maybe fighting, maybe. <laughs> on this one day I don't like it at all either. It's okay if he doesn't follow it. No, he did. <laughs> He's gonna foul anyway. Could get sent off again. That'd be funny. Nearly, nearly. I mean, uh, a, lot of, a lot of space in the back. I don't know why he didn't feel this guy. That could be the dirty player foul. <laughs> Because he thought he gets stunned. <laughs> I like having the ball in that square because the jetty can just hit. I would have I mean, hit the Yeti here. He, he could have, he could have assisted. This guy can still go here, and then he can get these two here, and then punch him. 
feel like you should be punching the Yeti. This is too easy. Like. Yeah, because if not, the Yeti is gonna be. Ah, okay, okay, you know, it's, it's all right. The Yeti can come and uh, come and hit the yeah. fellas. Yeah, that's why they like it, having it so close because it forces you to do things. Mm. Oh, is he going to do a three-two at the end to get a scoring threat? That's an interesting decision if he does this because he he has got this here. Like I would have had somebody like here, but he could have just gone three-two, couldn't he? And then have a scoring yep. threat, and he could just shift it up and score. Ah, I like that one. I like that. A cheeky little screen off there. Oh, Relens is pushing and pulling the uh, Norse around a bit. I don't really like the X cage. I'd have much rather had, like, you know, a player here and a player here or whatever. But fair enough. It does give you a pretty good hand handoff away option, but again, yeah. not that good with a Yeti around, right? One in nine, a lot, a lot more likely than one in thirty-six. Mavs there. It's probably just going to blitz in with a Yeti, I imagine. Which is kind of pointless, but I, no, he's not going to do it. Okay, good. Well done, Binky. I prefer this hit. Get your tackle pom in. Doing work. That's the removal. And you can centralise him a bit as well. To there. Yeah, he's still early. Standing level for him, so... Yeah, he's going to have to get him too far back. Guy wants to go over there. I can't believe he's got this dirty player on the bench. That's it's pretty bad, isn't it? Yeah, that's, that's uh, that must have been a mistake. I mean, there is no point in keeping them uh, him there when you have regular liners. In deciding turn incoming at some point, yes, Ruzi here. I don't think right now, though. He's gonna foul again. Yep. Okay, what is it? A nine? Is it a nine? Oh, it's an eight. He doesn't have to kick himself too much. <laughs> And now, more or less, the Norse have a pretty nice defense. Yeah. A lot of players in the center, protected. Yeah. A strong uh, strength at the sides. It's almost... More or less a... right. Yeah. He's made the J for Jimmy Fantastic, so he knew. <laughs> he knew I was watching, so he's put his players in a J. Brilliant. <laughs> it's like, oh, mate, it's an mate, you know, the, your support to the Blood Bowl community. <laughs> oh, I don't like this, but he's going to dodge now, dodge and put him there, and then this guy can go one, two, three, four, five, six, and hit him. Oh, he's going to GFI instead. I don't like that because it's got a sidestep, but never mind. Worked out. Fouling yourself, Ori Lens. That's that's the IG for uh, sure hand as the ball carrier with with sure feet. Yeah, he's pretty good, isn't he? But Ori Lens is running out of players now, isn't he? Yeah, yeah, that is going more or less than expected for the North being able to take uh, you know, make cast. 
This is no longer a Daka, this is just... He's gonna a... need to think about actually scoring to recover players, because it's 3 chaos, he has a babe, he has a reserve. Well, he is 1-0 up, isn't he? So... Yeah. The he can, you know, still... bide his time, but the thing is, mm. how much time does he have to be, be able to properly protect the ball? Yeah. Yeah, this, this is the problem, so like... Pinkett has to come from at some point. And if he can, uh, if he can, uh, you know, delay that long enough or get some space in behind when he does. I prefer just coming back and screening. I know it's easy uh, to say that after he's double one, but I, I prefer just going there and screening against the uh, Yeti. You can be my wingman anytime. Bullshit. Sea Bros, glorious! Thank you very much for the raid. Oh, is that being Sea Bros? Yes, so. Where's that later? I'm pretty sure Sea Bros is playing some BBSL today. At some point. I mean, of course, it's still Orleans is game. I mean, he's winning one nil and there's not super only KO, so it's all right. But the Norse are slowly but surely. I'm playing Dimmy later. Glorious, glorious sea rose. Thank you very much. Oh, there's a Kaz. Oh, ho, ho. this is looking pretty dodgy for Ori now, that's isn't it? it? That's it. Uh, not that many arrows left in the beach. Two, mm -hmm. four, six, seven. Yeah. Well, one of them is decently isolated. Yeah. I don't like using the. Well, you know, you need to keep someone there. This is just a line now. Yeah. If he had the dirty player, he could send him over a fouling. Yeah, there is a bit of an equity shift. No longer is it GG. We might see it. We might see if, if we could see chat. There might be a rescinded GG from Binkit right now. <laughs> might have dropped the early GG, then rescinded it. <laughs> <laughs> and anyway, so yes, hello Sea Bros, Sea Bros viewers. This is, as you can see, the Chalice quarter final between Binket and Oriolensis. Uh, first half was very one sided in Oriolensis' favour, made a bunch of removals and scored on defence with the help of the wizard. But this half, he's getting banged out and it's getting very dodgy. And how has your dear Blood Bowl been, Sea Bros? Dio Daka for the draw, yeah, that's... Yeah, it's not great, is it? But... You know, there's, he's running out of time, Binky. He's only got four turns left. I know the lenses always have the chance to hand off to a catcher. The catcher runs away and throws the ball to the end zone. Yeah. And <laughs> Norse are not fast. Yeah. So trying to rotate around in here, maybe? It's tricky, isn't it? This line will go one, two, three, four, five, six, and end up here, potentially. I don't like how Orens is like cages so tightly. I feel like you know having a bit of space around is nicer because then, like here, they, if they come crashing into your cage, you've you've like basically got nothing left, have you? Yep. This is a bit dodgy now because he's got to do one, two, three, four, five. He's got to do three dodges. This guy could have gone up there with one dodge, and then he could have just had to make two to fill this in. Uh, would have been better, wouldn't it? Because, you know, one dodge from him and two dodges from him is better than three dodges from him. Oh, you can just dodge through there. Okay, well, you only need to do one then. I was being stupid as fuck. For some reason, I didn't realise this was a two plus three. Wow. What a dumbass. What an absolute dumbass. I didn't even see that two plus three. Why has he gone red? Didn't he only just go two squares? Alright, 
Jim Mora down. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I don't like the X cage. I do feel like it's too easy to swarm. Whereas if you have like, if you have like a loose thing, you know, if he pressures once half of it, you know, if you if you have like a a loose formation like this, you know, a player here and a player here. Well, okay, imagine this guy isn't there. You've got a player there and a player there. The, these two go here and here. Now, if he if he crashes in here. Then maybe you can do something over here or over here. Whereas when it's all here, if he crashes into this, then it, you're, you're pretty much fucked. Yeah, he's running out of the space. Also, having a loose cage always gives the option to make a pass, yeah. and that player can run away. So the Norse must tag every single player. Yeah, yeah it's not. It's not like a. A violent criticism or anything, but that it's I, I'm just finding unusual. That's all. I would like to know his reasoning. <laughs> Ooh, Ooh, that's another kiss. Ooh, the cloacal kiss <laughs> of death from the Yeti. <laughs> oh god, now it's looking real bad. Because now, now he will come in and he'll he'll put this yeah he t this wolf to here this lino in here wolves here here you know and it's gonna look bad. <laughs> yeah, Shawnee, <Sean>, exactly. <laughs> I just wonder. I'm just kind of wondering why why he's, he's doing it or why he thinks he has to do it or whatever. That's the thing. It's interesting. It's not just wrong, is it? Like, you know, it's definitely not just wrong. Um, some things, I think this is maybe, unless he's going to keep this guy back, I think it's too much of a commit to put him in as well. I'd have liked to, I guess he could keep the, but you want the Ulfin because he's strength 4. I'd rather have the Ulfin being strength 4 on guard. Wow, he's double GFI so he can not surf this fella. Wow, that's, there's a big, there's a big space here. That was, I don't want to say it was terrible by being kid, but... You know, it's terrible, isn't it? Yeah. You get the heal. Which isn't quite far enough because this guy could reach you. But, he's the problem. But you know, one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, God. That's not the start he needed. <laughs> oh, there's a Kazba. See you later, dickhead. Yeah, yeah, that's a good point. This Berserker could have been here, couldn't he? Woof! Yeah, that seems bad to leave him a 2 plus out. That surely, surely the Berserker had to be stood here. Surely, because that, that 2 plus is too easy. Big rolls there, three plus through tackle. Yeah, game going in tight. Interesting, isn't it? A scary turn for Ori there with a re roll gone instantly. Surely he has to recover this guy central now, because that was that was mental. That was he was near like Ori could have been gone there. Like I don't know if it was a good play to get to get gone, but it was it was on, wasn't it? That the catcher could have just dodged away yep. and ran down the field and, and been in the clear. It was definitely possible to have been done. Who is this shit?
Do you blitz with the... Oh. He has got tackle on Both coming in the side here would be interesting, wouldn't it? Would have been possible. You can just go straight forward though as well. He's got a Yeti. Of course he is. Yeah, neat diamond con. That was the idea. Like if the Yeti if the Yeti had blitzed this guy and not Yeti Ulf. The Ulf had blitzed this guy, then all of a sudden, you know, if you push him and then push him, then you've suddenly got a strength five back here and it's really difficult for him, isn't it? But um that worked, certainly. Very much running out of players now, Ori Lenses. Well, well, it's not that easy to score, is it, Jimmy? Yeah, it's true, Jimmy. It's got to cover this guy coming out a bit, hasn't it? Yeah, the jetty there is uh, really, really good because it makes any scenario uh, handing off the ball or something like that very complicated. There was a risk taking making the blitz with him. I, down here. I, di I did like putting somebody here, so I guess you put this guy in here. You need the tackle then. Yeah, you need the tackle there just to close that uh, door. Tackle there, maybe, and this guy just enough for mindlessly. Because. Yeah. Oh, tackle on the ball. Yeah, okay, tackle on the ball is good as well, isn't it? And then the strength could be here. But this is now as easy 3 2 away, isn't it? Um, just 3 2 away and then lob it to him. Maybe. Yep, start with that 1D, gets the pow. Oh, he did it that way, okay. Oh, now he's got a sick 2 plus dodge through, hasn't he? With another pow. <laughs> another pow. Yeah, that's a very good point, Rosie. Here, yeah, the, uh, the, the PI ruined it. Yeah, that's beautiful, that, isn't it? The two one days both being pals. It was the small matter of this tackle, at all. He's got two dice on the ball pretty easily, hasn't he? Pals him, gets the Yeti in for the assist, and this guy blitzes. Doesn't pow him. Huge. Huge non pow. Maybe this guy, oh, this guy wants to recover that. Maybe he had to re roll that. You the last re roll for that. Yeah, maybe he had to. Yeah, I mean, two turns left. Because how does he get oh, through that? Oh, the jetty moving there. But yeah, it's been a very nice jetty of the game. I guess it's just one day. I guess, I guess it just has to one day. Yeah, yeah, just one day. Gets the pal. Easy. 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 Easiest block of his life. Oh, oh dear, in one tackle zone, yeah, maybe you should have punted, yeah. So hands are you four in range? Yeah. Mm. 
This is smells like extra time. Wow. Oh, he fills the pickle. Oh, oh. Boy, howdy. Quite like this. One, two, three. Well, one, see if you. No, you can't pop dodge. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. GFI. <laughs> <laughs> Pass it to him who then fucks off. I guess he's just gonna put people around the ball. Which is lame but works. It is a nail bite here, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> oh, can't use the reroll. He does use the reroll! And get the ball. Three plus. Oh, hoo -hoo. wow! That's a lot of rolls with the starving presence there. There was a lot of hero rolls there. Wow, that was a ballsy reroll, wasn't it, by Ori? Because like, yep. Oh, he's double wanded. He's double wand. Because now he's fucked if it goes to overtime. Maybe he thought he was fucked in overtime anyway. In which, yeah, because it's not looking good, is it? Only got one. Kill roll. So I guess if you think you're fucked in overtime anyway, then you then you do this to give you a bigger chance of winning in normal time. Yeah, you can push it in the ball. Right? this? What, what is this? 3D with the Jetty? Yeah. Well, this is yeah. dodgy. This is dodgy, isn't it? Because it's a sidestep. He gets the pal. He, he goes here because now 3 could catch it. Alright, far away. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Oh yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, then hand off. So he's gonna push him. Yeah, stopping him from sidestepping up. Yeah, yeah, and getting three dice. I thought maybe not even hit him with the Yeti, just try and hit him with this guy, and then you know, like put the uh, put the guard in so that you've got four dice with tackle. Would have been my initial thought. But the problem is with it being turn 16, because you don't want anyone to catch it, do you? So it's, uh, it was tricky. I don't know what the best play was there. This is easy now, though. Just punch him, dodge, hand off, score. But he's not. He's not doing that. Literally added an extra two plus to the score. Um, well, it's an easy decision to make, isn't it? It's an easy decision to make, which is four, five, six, seven hand off to him. But then he blocked with him. <laughs> so <laughs> he's added a two plus to the to the, what he has to roll. Oh, and I hope he gets punished. I hope he gets punished for adding an unnecessary two plus. He deserves to be punished for adding this point, this 2+. Plus. If you ask me, come on, roll a 1. Wow, he even did a, a GFI, objectively the wrong play. Unbelievable, Jeff. Unless it was sunny, I didn't see if it was sunny, to be honest. Um, wow.
Wow. Brutal. Um, Rough game for every part involved. Oh, gee, if I had sure feet. Ah, chugs. Who would have thought somebody had sure feet? Yeah, sure feet. Ah, well, there you go. He added the extra dice roll, got punished for it. There you go. Um, congratulations, Ori Lensis. And commiserations. Pink it. That was, a, that was a very bad mistake, I thought, at the end. But there you go. Um, I mean, that happens, doesn't it, right? You know, obviously he'll be kicking himself and he, he'll, he'll know it's wrong and everything. You know, it's not like not calling him a, a complete moron or anything. <laughs> but, uh, you know, everyone makes mistakes, don't they? I'm pretty sure he just miss, like didn't think when he moved the, uh, when he moved the uh, Berserker as well. So sorry if anyone thinks I was being too harsh. I certainly didn't mean anything badly. Um... So there you go, that's it. It was in a very complicated situation anyway. Exactly, yeah. yeah. Right, so there you go. Uh, yeah, but it doesn't matter, Doug. You've got to score, right? I think. I think you just have to score that. But anyway, um, thank you very much, Faimia, for the core commentary. Absolutely glorious. Thanks for having me here one more time. Oh, yeah. And uh, yeah, congrats again, Ori. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.